Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna be talking about descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. And we're gonna be looking at the differences between the two. So let's get started. Now the best way to understand the differences between descriptive statistics and inferential statistics is to go through an example. So I'm actually gonna pull up a sketch pad for you guys and we're gonna go through this together. All right, so the idea is that descriptive statistics talks about a sample and an inferential statistic is a statistic that is applied to a population. So let me explain what the difference is between the two. The best way to do this is through, honestly, through an example, through a pictorial understanding. So here, let's say we have a huge population. We have tons of people, right? This is our population. And inside our population, there's just a bunch of things, a bunch of people, or maybe a bunch of plants or something. And then a sample is just a portion of that. So we're going to blow up this image and get a better understanding of that sample. So in this example, we have our population and we took a sample from that population. Now let's say we measure an attribute of that sample. Let's say we measure that 52% are Republicans. Now, at this point, this statistic is a descriptive statistic in the sense that this 52% is talking about this sample here. We're specifically focused on the sample. At this point, we don't need the population. We're strictly focused on the sample. So this is called a descriptive statistic. So this is a descriptive statistic. Now, if we were to be interested in maybe talking about this group, we might say something like, this is that 52% of this population are Republicans. Now, in this case, the 52% is represented as an inferential statistic, simply because we're making an inference from that statistic, we're assuming that this thing right here, this 52% can project onto the population there. And that might be true, that might not be. It really depends on whether or not your sample is biased, whether or not you have a good representation of the population. But the idea is if we are strictly focused on the sample, if we ignore the population, then it is called a descriptive statistic. And if we focus on how we can use this statistic as a measure of inferring about the population, then we would call that an inferential statistic. So again, the, I, I just want to really recap this one more time. The idea is that if you have a sample and you just focus on that sample, you just really, really wouldn't want to talk about that sample. You don't care about population. You don't really care about making inferences about other people. You just want to focus on this group of people that you analyzed. If that's the case, then it's called a descriptive statistic. It's describing the sample that you measured. But if you start taking that and you project that onto a bigger group, like a population, that statistic becomes inferential statistics, in which case you're, you're making inferences about a population. You're basically guesstimating facts about the population. And so those are the two differences. Anyways, I hope this video helps. I'll see you guys in the next lecture.